ओके सो हम लोगों ने क्या देखा था वॉट वी हैव सीन दैट इट्स अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग दैट वी हैव सीन दैट देर इज इन ए क्लासिकल स्कैटरिंग द इन क्लासिकल स्कैटरिंग वॉट वी हैव सीन दैट दिस इज आवर रेफरेंस लाइन एंड दिस इज अ स्कैटरिंग द डायरेक्शन ऑफ अ स्कैटरिंग and reference lines is all about z axis this is famous z axis isn't it for the spherical polar coordinate and this is your angle theta so this is your angle theta and uh, the particle is coming from infinity where influence of potential is not there and once you are coming in the influence of potential then you have just going to deflect it and this kind of shape is there so here is the particle is free particle actually so this is free particle here particle is also free isn't it but in this region there is something is going to happen there are interaction i will discuss what is the actual theory of a scattering into next class today i am just going to focus on born approximation basically where the maximum question will come into your exam okay so this is our influence this is our reason where the particle is going to interact with potential and yes we are just talking about the vr or the spherical potential or central potential we are just talking about central potential okay so this is our central potential and we are just trying to calculate uh, this particular thing uh, the idea is same thing that we have to calculate differential scattering cross section okay the same thing is there once you will able to calculate differential scattering cross section then obviously you can easily calculate total scattering cross section so if particle is free then here which type of quantum mechanically which type of wave function we have plane wave plane wave and this plane wave is moving towards z direction so incoming wave but hold on right now i am just telling it incoming wave and this will be e to the power i kz a will be the amplitude the amplitude will remain same and after the interaction of this particular thing again you have free particle but that free particle this is plane wave isn't it this is plane wave currently i am just writing it incoming but this is something else when we will just try to go for the partial wave analysis then we will discuss what is this particular thing now what will be your scattered wave at this region kya hoga ye this is also free particle but is that plane wave kya ye plane yes, wave hoga no sir bounded hoga sir no why bounded this is unbounded why bounded this is always unbounded so which plane type wave. of wave is there this is plane this is free particle but now look at this thing when it is coming here it is interact with this potential so here you will find not a plane wave rather what you will find a spherical wave kaisa wave milega aapko a spherical wave and that will be a e to the power i kr upon r this is all about scattered wave so what is total so what is the combined wave function this can be we can written a and this is i not i am not writing equal it is proportional to something like this okay this is a and this will be e to the power i k z plus let's say some changes in amplitude here which is depends on what is this potential which type of potential what is the form of potential so why we are saying it as a form factor and we can write e to the power i kr upon r so this is incoming wave this is your scattered wave this is not exactly incoming wave once we will go into a spherical polar coordinate 
this is something else we will discuss into next class but today just make it uh, the thing very simple and this particular f theta is form factor and what will be differential scattering cross section the differential scattering cross section is basically you can derive it that will be actually f theta mod square so the whole challenge is that if you are able to get this particular f theta you can easily get the differential scattering cross section and once you are getting the differential scattering cross section then you can easily get the total scattering cross section and that value is d theta sin theta d theta okay sometime people are writing d theta as d sigma upon d cos theta okay kai bar log is dhang se bhi lekhte hain ek exam mein problem bhi is group mein aaya hua hai okay so this is your differential scattering cross section and now you can calculate the total scattering cross section d sigma by d theta sir d cos theta tab to idhar sin theta d theta aa jayega na yes aisa likh sakte hain na वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग हाउ यू आर गेटिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर एफ थीटा दिस इज रियल चैलेंज दिस इज रियल चैलेंज एंड वी आर नॉट एबल टू सॉल्व सरेंजर वेब इक्वेशन कंप्लीटली so it is very tough to find this thing but yes mathematics help us to get all this particular thing so there are n number of ways that you can find this particular f theta so the one of the most promising way is the born approximation or first order born approximation so according to born approximation the f theta is defined as so i am writing the the exactly formula and then we will apply this thing f theta is nothing but minus m 2 pi h cut square and that value is vr d q r and this is for low value of energy ye kiske liye le rahe hain low value of energy and this f theta can be written as this is basically minus 2m h cut to square q and here is r sin q r v r dr you will just go to zero to infinity this is just a linear this is for high energy so in the examination what you have to do you have to just use either of these two formula they will just give you using the born approximation find the differential scattering cross section or total scattering cross section so if they will give for the low energy you will just go for this and you will go for the high energy and thus you can just go for this but the thing is that what is this q the q is equal to 2k sin theta by 2 and this theta is basically a scattering angle and what is your k k is equal to root under 2m e upon h cut square are you getting my point yes so you can write this thing in term of q and q is nothing 2k sin theta by 2 why this k is something like a wave vector not something like it is actually wave vector for a free particle which has energy e are you people comfortable yes sir okay so now let's try to go for different type of problems either for low energy or for high energy okay i am not going very deep yes, into the sir. derivation okay we will just focus ourselves on to the examination and we can use this two thing okay if you want yes, to go for derivation after the exam you can see this derivation i have done in a separate videos but uh, that is not needed for your examination actually okay so let's try to go for straight forward some basic question chale kya 
and now what is real challenge real challenge is that how you are going to integrate all this thing this is the most important thing and in i am 100% sure that this time one question will surely come from the bond approximation because last year they have asked from the partial wave analysis so this year there is chance to get that uh, they will ask from the bond approximation okay So first we will do one or two problem for the low energy and then we will go for one or two problem for high energy. And uh, you have to always keep in mind that uh, your problem will be such that you can integrate it. So if this is the real challenge for examiner that they have to give a such type of potential which can be integrable. So they cannot give you r rate potential. So let's try to go for one very interesting problem. And this was asked into your exam also. So potential is given. V x y z is given as summation over v naught, and you have v naught a cube and delta x minus x i delta y minus y i and delta z minus z i and what is x i y i z i these are basically a corner of a, sorry these are basically vertices of corner of a cube of length a so this type of thing is there okay so there is cube and origin is at the center. So this is the corner of cube. So how many corner in the cube? Eight corners. Kitna hota hai? Eight corner. Okay. So using the bond approximation, we have to calculate the basically a total scattering cross section. So we have to calculate total scattering cross section. So this is my potential. So what is my formula for the low energy? And this is for the low energy. It is given so that is for low energy. So we have to calculate the all particular things. So what we have to do, we have to first calculate F theta. So what is F theta? Minus M upon 2 pi H cut square. Yes, sir. And we have vr dqr okay so this is minus m upon 2 pi h cut square and vr dqr so if you have this basic formula then we can easily solve but look at here this problem is given into cartesian coordinate so can we replace this whole thing in cartesian coordinate because the symmetry of cube can be easily expressed into cartesian coordinate isn't it Yes, sir. So what we can do, we can, and this, uh, this was a, in your examination also. So this is your previous year question too. So let me go for, so this is minus M upon 2 pi H cut square. So this thing is nothing. We can go for V naught A cube delta X minus X I delta Y minus Y I and delta z minus z i and what is dq bar dq bar is what dx dy dz this is our integration and now we have to go for summation over i so now can you please tell me so we can take v naught a cube outside from this integration so minus m v naught a cube is outside of this particular integration now just tell me how many summation we can have? Is, is summation ko likhenge to kya ho jayega? Suppose first time we are going V naught A cube delta X minus X1 so delta Y minus Y1 delta Z minus Z1 and this is DX, DY, 
digit yes or no similarly we will go for two similarly we will go for three similarly we will go for eight so how much time we are going to add it eight times eight time so what will be this integration ye integration kya ho jayega so one eight one this integration ek wala integration jo kya hoga this is one because you are just going from minus infinity to plus infinity r is going from 0 to infinity but x is going from minus infinity to plus infinity y is going from minus infinity to plus infinity so what we will get we will get basically minus m v not a cube upon 2 pi h cut square and now we have to go for all the integration so this is for first one similarly we will go for second one we will go for third one we will go for another one so what you will get 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 kitni bar aayega 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 isn't it yes sir so this is your form factor so f theta is equal to minus 8 m v not a cube upon 2 pi h cut square so what will be d theta what will be d theta batai kya hoga mod of, of f theta yes yes f theta yes, whole square so that value is equal to 64 m square v not square a6 by 4 pi square h cut to the power 4 now what will be your sigma sigma is equal to what so that value is d theta sin theta d theta d phi and hence it is constant so we have to just multiply with 4 pi so what is your answer the answer is 4 64 m square v not a to the power 6 and pi h cut to the power 4 isn't it so this will be your total scattering and v square is also there sorry v square is also there so are you getting this answer theek hai na so this yes, is sir. one of the very wonderful problem came into your exam the thing is that how you can perceive dirac delta function and how you can calculate all this thing everyone is comfortable yes sir yes sir and uh, if uh, you can see this problem was asked into your exam basically in this is in june 2000 2017 this is in june 2017 okay so we can solve it are you getting my point next question jay yes sir okay and dekhoge ki aap same ki tarah bar bar question aa rahe hain there is not any difference so this is your 2017 जून एग्जाम आई थिंक है ना दिस इज वन ऑफ द वेरी वंडरफुल प्रॉब्लम व्हाई इट इज वंडरफुल बिकॉज़ द फार्मूला इज गिवन इनटू अ स्फेरिकल पोलर कोऑर्डिनेट बट प्रॉब्लम इज गिवन ए इन अ कार्टेशियन कोऑर्डिनेट सो यू हैव टू कन्वर्ट इट एंड यू कैन यूज द बेसिक कैरेक्टर ऑफ डिराक डेल्टा पोटेंशियल सो लेट्स ट्राई टू गो फॉर वन मोर प्रॉब्लम एक और प्रॉब्लम पर चलें क्या यस सर यस वेरी गुड आज जस्ट आफ्टर दिस क्लास जस्ट गो एंड रिवाइज योर ट्यूटोरियल्स है ना उसको एक बार आप देख लेना दैट विल बी मोर देन एनफ ओनली फॉर द बोर्ड नो अप्रोक्सीमेशन अदर थिंग आई विल डू इट टूमोरो लेट एस गो फॉर वन मोर प्रॉब्लम एंड दिस टाइम वी आर इज गिवेन बाय वी नॉट वेन आर इज लेस देन आर एंड जीरो अदरवाइज so this is some soft potential you can say and the question is that if v not is changing to 2v not if v not is just going to change to 2v not what will be total scattering cross section or differential scattering cross section so differential scattering cross section they are just asking what will be the differential scattering cross section and uh, this question was asked in 2012 actually 
so 2012 in examination they have asked this question in june exam so very simple and for the low energy level low energy you have to use bond approximation these are given so always they will give using the bond approximation give the answer so it's a very simple so first we have to go for f theta what is your f theta minus m upon 2 pi h cut square vr dqr yes and you have minus m upon 2 pi h cut square you will go from 0 to r that is your v naught and dqr is what 2 pi what is this value dqr so that value is equal to r square dr sin theta d theta d phi isn't it yes sir. Yes, sir. so this is your particular thing so what will happen minus m 2 pi h cut square v naught into and this whole will be what 4 pi by 3 and r cube so that is volume of a sphere because it is constant so this is your f theta so this is your f theta please we have to talk about differential scattering cross section so what will be your differential scattering cross section the differential scattering cross section is equal to m square 4 pi square h cut square v naught square and that is 16 pi square r to the power 6 and here is 9 so obviously this 4 and 4 pi square pi square is cancelled so we have 4 m square v naught square by 9 and h cut square r to the power 6 and this will be d theta yes so what will happen when v will go to v naught differential scattering cross section will increase four time isn't it yes sir. we will go to 2 v naught then d theta will tends to four time d theta that's it this is your answer simple straightforward five marks yes yes sir okay so whenever they will ask the question into this particular low energy it will be quite simple and quite easy let's try to go for a problem which will related to high energy that is more efficient and more beautiful problem okay so let's try to go for this so this problem is a very interesting one let me just give you first what is this particular problem very interesting so what is this potential the potential is vr is proposed or vr is equal to alpha upon r square so vr is given alpha upon r square and it is also given q is equal to 2k sin theta by 2 and where theta is the scattering angle and for the high energy we have to just calculate that differential scattering cross section is proportional to and how differential scattering cross section proportional to fq q is your the given parameter q is equal to 2k sin theta so obviously let us try to do this particular problem so this problem ko karte hai and it's it was i think last to last year problem so it's a very interesting one let's try to go for this so we have to go for what high energy Kiske liye jana hai? high energy okay so what is formula for the high energy Koi batao ke formula minus 2m. what is this minus 2m, 2M upon h cut square, square q q is there okay and you have to go for integration r vr sin qr dr 
and in this problem it is given into proportionality so it, there is no need to do this calculation no need to do the integration completely but we can do this integration also so let us try to go for this one so this is minus 2m h cut square q and we have r and what about this vr alpha upon r square and here it's sin qr dr we have to go for 0 to infinity and now you can see this value is minus 2m h cut to square q and the value is basically very interesting sin qr by r dr 0 to infinity 1 r 1 r will cancel now how you will give the answer without doing calculation kaise doge answer without doing this integration we will discuss this integration separately but let's focus on first examination without doing integration how you will give this particular answer you will just make it dimensionless isn't it you will just put qr is equal to t as i bahut bar bata chuke hum isn't it dr is equal to what dt upon q yes and r is equal to t upon q so you can just put it this value is minus 2m h cut to square q and you will just go for sin t upon t what is dr dr is equal to dt upon q and r ke jagah par t upon q so q is also there so this and this will cancel and you have very famous integration look at minus 2m h cut square q 0 to infinity sin t by t what is this integration i think everybody know this integration that value is what pi by 2 you can do it with the contour integral isn't it yes sir ye aapko contour agar aap nahi bhi karte ho don't worry about this integration kyunki proportionality ke term mein pucha gaya hai so you have f theta is proportional to what 1 upon q so what will be differential scattering cross section is proportional to what mod like f theta whole square and d theta is proportional to 1 upon q square wow otherwise you can calculate it completely and this value is equal to what pi by 2 and if i want to calculate it completely so f theta is minus 2m h cut to square q and this value is equal to what pi by 2 and then d theta we can calculate 4 m square pi square upon 4 h cut to square q square so you can easily calculate and what is q q is nothing 2k sin theta by 2 but by the way suppose they will ask into this particular thing your here they will give you the 2k sin theta suppose kisi ne aisa de diya to to yahan par scattering angle kya hai scattering angle theta hi hai no then scattering angle is 2 theta okay okay yes 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 sir thoda sa dimag open karke rakhenge aap theek hai so the scattering angle yes, is sir. 2 theta but this is our convention sorry convention that we can just uh, use scattering angle theta and during the calculation we will get theta by 2 okay it's a very wonderful derivation of this particular bond approximation but that is not needed for examination so isko hum log easily just formula ka use karke kar sakte hain everyone is comfortable yes sir sotan are you comfortable yes sir hai na okay so let's try to go for one more problem kare kya hai na yes sir Let's go for Yukawa potential. Very favorite potential, hai na? Is par teen var lagatar exam mein aaya question from the Yukawa potential. So let's try to solve it completely. Okay? Yes, sir. Okay. So this Yukawa potential has come into your exam. And this potential is given. Vr is equal to alpha by r e to the power minus r by r okay minus r by r 
कुछ ऐसा दिया हुआ है ओके दिस इज योर रिकावर पोटेंशियल अल्फा एंड आर इज कॉन्स्टेंट एंड आर इज ग्रेटर देन जीरो ओके सो दिस इज योर युकावा पोटेंशियल कैन वी सॉल्व इट लेट्स ट्राई टू गो फॉर दिस एंड ऑब्वियसली इफ इफ इट इज गिवन युकावा पोटेंशियल देन ऑब्वियसली युकावा पोटेंशियल इज वॉट ऑलवेज अ हाई एनर्जी थिंग बिकॉज इट इज गोइंग इन टू द न्यूक्लियस द न्यूक्लियस पोटेंशियल इज समथिंग लाइक युकावा पोटेंशियल सो वी हैव टू गो फॉर हाई एनर्जी पार्ट so let's try to go for this so what is my f theta we have to calculate d theta and this question was asked in june 2019 okay so this is your f theta what is your f theta minus 2m upon h cut square q and q is your and theta is given as your scattering angle Theta is a scattering angle, so we have to give answer in term of a scattering angle, and we have to go for zero to infinity, R, V R, sine, Q R, D R. Theta कहाँ छुपा हुआ है? इसके अंदर छुपा हुआ है. Okay, so we can easily go for. Sorry, it is given two theta is your scattering angle. Now look at. जो मैं कह रहा था वही हो गया. 2 theta is given what a scattering angle so what is your q here please 2k sin theta isn't it yes sir hai na kyunki dekh raha hu abhi just maine discuss kiya aur ye question mein hai pada hua that 2 theta is your scattering angle so now q is equal to 2k sin theta so always keep in mind okay let's go for integration it's a very smart integration 2m upon h cut to square q Go for R. What is V R? Alpha by R e to the power minus R upon R sine Q R D R zero to infinity. You are very lucky that this and this thing is going to cancel out. ये दोनों चीज़ क्या हो जा रहे हैं एक दूसरे के साथ cancel out हो जा रहे हैं. So when these thing are cancel out, we have to go for integration minus two m. H cut to square Q. I will take alpha outside. Here is integration e to the power minus R upon R sine Q R D R. Wonderful integration. How we will go for it? How will we go? Take imaginary e to the power sine Q. You take it or I will just open it and open it. Simple, pure open it and open it. Okay? Now finally check it. Alok sir has told you different yes, tricks. Okay? But I will just go for first principle. क्योंकि मुझे बहुत सारे ट्रिक्स याद नहीं रहते हैं आई बिलीव इन टू फर्स्ट प्रिंसिपल मैं फर्स्ट प्रिंसिपल से सारे क्वेश्चन करना चाहता हूं ओके बट यस यू हैव टू यूज ट्रिक इफ यू इफ यू हैव एनी वन सो दैट विल बी द बेनिफिट ऑफ लर्निंग मैथमेटिकल फिजिक्स फ्रॉम सम स्मार्ट पीपल यस इज एंट इट ई टू दावर आई क्यू आर माइनस ई टू दावर माइनस आई क्यू आर बाई टू आई सही लिख रहा हूं so this will be two integration the first integration is 2m alpha by h cut to square 2 iq mai alag se separately likh raha hu ise we will go for first integration zero to infinity what will be this value i am taking minus r common so that value is equal to 1 upon r minus 1 upon iq yes dr minus the second integration is e to the power minus r that is 1 upon r plus i q dr 0 to infinity everyone is comfortable up to this theek hai na yes sir hai na dekhna kahi main galti to nahi kar raha mere paas kuch solve kiya hua nahi hai okay so every time i do fresh every time agar main maan lo teen baar padha raha hu to teeno baar main fresh karta hu So, गलती होने के बहुत ज्यादा चांसेस हो सकते हैं ओके okay? चलो सो लेट्स ट्राई टू गो फॉर इट माइनस टू एम अल्फा टू आई क्यू एच कट स्क्वायर आई एम पुटिंग हियर द फर्स्ट इंटीग्रेशन इज आई थिंक दिस वैल्यू इज वन अपॉन वन बाई आर माइनस आई क्यू 
विद द नेगेटिव साइन और नेगेटिव नेगेटिव इट विल बी पॉजिटिव साइन माइनस वन अपॉन आर प्लस सॉरी वन अपॉन आर वन अपॉन आई क्यू एम आई करेक्ट या इसमें पॉजिटिव होगा या नेगेटिव होगा आई थिंक सो जस्ट चेक इट बिकॉज इन्फिनिटी पर तो जीरो हो जाएगा एंड जीरो पर वन होगा सो नेगेटिव विल बी माइनस होगा बीच में सही है ये आई थिंक दिस विल यू नेगेटिव और ये नेगेटिव नेगेटिव पॉजिटिव हो जाएगा ये जेंट इट सो माइनस टू एम अल्फा एच कट स्क्वायर टू आई क्यू हेयर यू हैव वन बाई वन प्लस आर प्लस आई क्यू माइनस वन बाई आर और यहां क्या आ रहा है माइनस आई क्यू सही कर रहा हूं या गड़बड़ कर रहा हूं सो पूरा गड़बड़ हो रहा है लेट लेट मी चेक लेट मी चेक जस्ट अ मिनट ये कैलकुलेशन देख लेते हैं सॉरी सॉरी जस्ट अ मिनट इसे इंटीग्रेट करेंगे तो क्या आएगा e टू दी पावर माइनस आर वन अपॉन आर माइनस आई क्यू अपॉन माइनस वन अपॉन आर माइनस आई क्यू एंड जीरो टू इंफिनिटी ठीक है ना माइनस साइन e टू दी पावर माइनस आर पूरा कर लेते हैं अदरवाइज शॉर्टकट में गड़बड़ होने के चांस हो जाते हैं वन अपॉन क्यू जीरो टू इंफिनिटी एंड दिस विल बी आल्सो माइनस वन अपॉन आर माइनस माइनस प्लस आई क्यू ठीक है सो so, इंफिनिटी पर तो जीरो होगा एंड दिस विल बी प्लस साइन सो वन जीरो माइनस वन सो दिस विल बी प्लस साइन एंड अगेन जीरो माइनस माइनस यस सो दिस थिंग विल बी गिवेन एज समथिंग लाइक जस्ट चेक इट जस्ट चेक इट माइनस टू एम अल्फा एच कट स्क्वायर टू आई क्यू जस्ट चेक इट एम आई करेक्ट वन अपॉन आर माइनस आई क्यू माइनस वन अपॉन आर प्लस आई क्यू यह आ रहा है क्या यस सर ठीक है ना so no, what sir. will happen one upon r will be cancel out isn't it cancel ho raha hai one upon r yes and we have a uh, basically finally we have 2m alpha h cut square 2 iq and this value is 1 by r plus iq minus वन बाई आर प्लस आई क्यू बाई वन अपॉन आर स्क्वायर प्लस क्यू स्क्वायर इज एंड इट सर सो वॉट विल हैपन दिस एंड दिस विल कैंसिल एंड टू आई क्यू एंड टू आई क्यू इज कैंसिल ये मुझे मेरे दिमाग में था कि टू आई क्यू कैंसिल होता है ओके सो नाउ वी हैव एफ थीटा वॉट इज योर एफ थीटा F theta is two m alpha upon h cut square, and we have one upon one by r square plus q square. And what is the value of q here? This is your f theta. So what is your d theta? We have to calculate differential scattering cross section. That is f theta mod square. And once we are just going to calculate it. then this value is basically 4 m alpha square h cut 4 and this value is 1 upon 1 by r square plus q square whole square and now you can put when r is equal to so if you have this particular thing kya tha hamare paas potential kya tha v r is equal to what alpha, alpha e to the power minus r upon r by smaller by smaller 
if we are putting 1 by r is equal to 0 this is just a coulomb potential type of thing yes sir and that will give you exactly rutherford scattering isn't it yes sir so 1 by q is 1 by r tends to 0 so if you have so this is the answer for your examination so this is the answer and this question was asked in your exam in june 2019 okay 2019 but next time if 1 by r is going to 0 1 by r is going to 0 then this thing is go to what exactly rutherford potential isn't it and in spite of q what you will write here what is the scattering angle here theta so you will write theta. something like this h cut to square 1 upon r square plus 2 k and that is what sin theta is here and whole square is there isn't it 2k square sin square theta isn't it uh, that 2k is what 4k so this is the exactly same thing you will get whatever we have done into last class in a rutherford scattering when we are putting 1 by r tends to 0 but theta by 2 aya tha, you remember why theta by 2 is there because the scattering angle is theta now in this problem the scattering angle is 2 theta so why we have theta everyone is comfortable yes sir okay so you can easily get a differential scattering cross section so now you can see the problem is just a straightforward every year you have one question that is just a i i am saying if question is coming from the bond approximation this is a grace marks to you because you have to just take the formula apply it give the answer okay bolo theta by 2 tha na sir भाई यहां पर थीटा बाय 2 कब था जब आपका स्कैटरिंग एंगल थीटा था ओके 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 अभी क्या है स्कैटरिंग एंगल 2 थीटा है डिस्कस तो किया अभी द स्कैटरिंग एंगल इज 2 थीटा ओके सर ओके ये दो बार मैंने डिस्कस कर रखा है है ना सो नाउ यू कैन सी हाउ वी कैन गो फॉर ऑल दिस थिंग और इसे हम कैसे यूज कर सकते हैं ओके सो आई थिंक दिस इज मोर देन एनफ फॉर माय साइड एक या दो क्वेश्चंस और भी आप चाहो तो खुद ट्राई कर सकते हो ओके सो जस्ट गो एंड जस्ट हैव अ लुक ऑफ योर वर्क दिस पर्टिकुलर थिंग योर प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चंस एंड ट्यूटोरियल्स एक बार ट्यूटोरियल्स जरूर देख लीजिएगा ठीक है यस सर ओके मे बी डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन कैन कम इनटू योर एग्जाम ओके यस सर ओके सो दिस इज फ्रॉम माय साइड एक क्वेश्चन और आपके एग्जाम में आया जस्ट ट्राई टू डू दिस विद योरसेल्फ ठीक है सो जस्ट पुट करके मुझे भेजो वी आर इज इक्वल टू आर ई टू दावर माइनस अल्फा आर आई थिंक दिस इज योर पोटेंशियल यस आर ई टू दावर माइनस अल्फा आर फॉर द हाई वैल्यू ऑफ एनर्जी यू हैव टू फाइंड डिफरेंशियल स्कैटरिंग क्रॉस सेक्शन हो जाएगा क्या yes, sir. Yes, sir. कुछ नहीं करना है क्या होगा किसका इंटीग्रेशन करना पड़ेगा आर स्क्वायर ई टू दावर माइनस अल्फा आर साइन क्यू आर डी आर है ना एंड देन यू कैन अगेन गो फॉर गामा इंटीग्रल यहां पर गामा इंटीग्रल का आपको यूज करना होगा ओके सो जस्ट ट्राई टू डू इट एज अवर होमवर्क ओके अदरवाइज आई विल जस्ट गिव यू दिस क्वेश्चन इन अ फॉर्म ऑफ वीडियो और एनीथिंग एल्स ओके सो दिस इज 80 परसेंट ऑफ क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम दिस पर्टिकुलर सेक्शन ओके टूमोरो वी विल गो फॉर पार्शियल वेव एनालिसिस एंड फेज शिफ्ट कैसे हम करते हैं उसे हम देखने की कोशिश करेंगे ओके थैंक यू थैंक यू सर थैंक यू